basically also stopped an instant charge as a player was coming in from flag. Yeah, I've been really impressed with Final Boss and their ability to stop these flag or flag runs by instinct. They've even, when they've gone a lot of people down, they'll make sure the one person they kill is going to be the guy grabbing their flag, allowing the rest of their team to respawn by the time instinct's got it or sets up for another run. It really seems like, you know, typically by this point in the game, we would have seen one or two, you know, decent runs out of instinct. I think we've seen just one, you know, that, that was a threat. But um, instinct, just again, doesn't seem to be getting their, you know, their game to, to flow the way they need it to. Um, I'm not sure what it is. It seems like we see Cloud having moments of brilliance, but Roy really, again, is the one player that I can say just seems to be rock solid as usual. Uh, they need a little bit more help here. Maybe this part right here will be an opportunity for them to push. Three down for final ball. Spear was the last one alive, and he's got the sniper in the back of the lobby. Meanwhile, we are watching El Might Warrior here set up. Looks like he's on the shockwave almost. He's going to go down towards the flag. And Instinct really just waiting for all four of their battle rifles to be in position. They're not quite there yet, but I expect to see a push here in about two seconds. And again, with the good defense for Final yep. Boss, they're just going to make sure that they don't grab the flag. I was just going to say that, the exact same thing. It seemed what? like they were, they were on their heels, but they, were, they waited back, able to get Elamite out, now clear Cloud out. And Roy just clutched it again, picking up two big kills in the base. Meanwhile, his twin brother Lunchbox let Cloud distract while he grabbed the flag. Instinct has their first flag cap opportunity. No one in position to stop him, and there you see Instinct on the board and a little bit of life here out of the crowd. It's exactly what Instinct needs. If they can build on this, this could be the difference maker. Because again, they, we just saw them play this game type earlier, and they played very well here. If they can weather that early storm of being down 2-0, they get right back into this series. And the momentum that they would get if they could come back and win this game type would be enormous. Right now, though, we are jumping on board with Ogre 2. He's got the Mauler, Elmai Warrior in front of him. He's just going to call that out and then come back once Pistola distracts. you got to love the bait and switch that Final Boss has been doing all series long. Yeah, it's been really impressive again. I mean, their teamwork in general, they've just been double shooting people. They've been team shotting. They've been sneaking around. And looking at Fear itself with these rockets. Oh. Sniper Rocket, not the best choice there. Four dead for final boss. Let's go back on board with Instinct. Elmite and Lunchbox both have sniper rifles. Rifles. I almost said sniper rifles. Sniper rifle. <laughs> it's good. It's a sniper rifle. Well, you can see so far in the second half of this game also, Instinct is really taking control of top middle. That's why they've been able to push on the final boss side. Early in the game, final boss was definitely in control of the map. Now it's Instinct. Yeah, just in the last 90 seconds or so, it seems like Instinct's turned a little bit of a corner. Uh, they're being a little bit more aggressive. It seems like their gameplay is flowing a little bit better. Uh, and again, all it takes, you know, they've got incredible talent here. All it takes is for them to get a little bit of momentum uh, it, you know, in this game, and it's going to be a totally different looking series. And I know El Might Warrior has been negative for the tournament, but he's really starting to turn it on there as he picked up the sniper rifle off of Fear's body. He's going to work, and perfect play. They're taking down Victor X, who's going over the man cannon. That's going to allow Launchbox to put this flag in without taking any damage. Great play, and that was all sparked by El Might Warrior. Yeah. Exactly, and also with Instinct, they don't want to lose control right here. The worst thing you can do is cap a, or cap a flag, only to lose complete control and have the other team get a counter cap. Yeah, we've seen that time and time again. I think that's one of the keys is, you know, right now, it comes down to who's going to play aggressively, who's going to play the you know, smart defense, but most importantly, who's going to control those power weapons. We see Instinct, well, well they had two sniper rifles, uh, but now Roy's the only one holding one for them. <laughs> Roy still staying alive. He's going to get pinched, though, by Ogre 2 and crew. It looks like Ogre 2 and Pistol once again working as a duo. And Ogre 2's got the sniper rifle. He's going to be pushing into the instinct base, but he better wait for his teammates before he goes for that flag. Yeah, they're all, all the way back in his own base. His entire team right now is pushing top middle. They're going to be coming through the lobby with a force. And he's no Victor X. He got called out and taken down immediately. He's not nearly as sneaky. But let's go to Victory <laughs> as Fear is going to get hit by a grenade. Victory playing this one very cautiously. I think he was waiting for a flank from Instinct that just never came. Yeah, it was kind of interesting. Instead of all going up top and going through their lobby, instead they went down low and been waiting, trying to bait and switch players to try to come down to them. Yeah, I think sometimes you get, you know, players get into the into a situation where maybe they outthink themselves, um, you know, where they just assume that a play is going to be made. But right there, that was no thinking. That was just pure skill. Right there, three players of instinct went down. This should be a, quick, a good cap. Final boss should be able to get in position. And victory carrying the flag down low. He was taken out. Fear itself was right behind him. He was, or Pistola Ooh. rather, was behind him. He was taken out as well. Lunchbox, clutch play right there. And Lunchbox picking up a nice double kill, stopping the flag. Fear is the last one alive here, top middle. It's a great sneaky play by Roy right there to make sure to get that flag guy down and stop that cap run. 
So we got Fear and Pistol working together. You see Fear pushing up R2. He's going to take the shots first, and Pistol will jump out and finish. Great shots, though, by Cloud. He just Cloud's shut Fear up. down. They better be careful. Cloud's heating up with one flag left for either team here. That could be a difference maker. Looks like we got Ogre 2 making the initial push. And are you surprised by this strategy at all, guys? It seems that Ogre 2 is always the first one into the base. No, it's good. I'm glad that he's the first one in the base. He used to be a very passive player in the past, and seeing him play so aggressive, I think that's one of the reasons Final Boss has been playing so well in general. Again, I think it's just, you know, they're playing to the situation, which you have to. You can you think too much, and you, know, you don't let the game come to you. I, you know, maybe waiting too, you know, too long or, or focusing on... Uh, uh, power-ups as opposed to power weapons position and opportunity. It's a game of opportunity. You see two, three down, you got to make a push. And to see Ogre 2 doing that rather than overthinking, I think is a testament to his teammates. That he trusts them, and he feels like that's going to help them win. He's got a confident BR right there. As you see him, four-shot Elmite Warrior getting hit by a grenade. He's going to be forced to back up, but his teammates will be in there to fill in the position. It looks like Pistola is there as Ogre 2 is going to loop around for the flag from power-up. It's a good prediction from Eloy right, right there. That's going to save instant to cap right there. If, if Ogre 2 had won that fight, there was a good chance he was going to start a run right there. Now you have Elamite and Roy trying to fight out of the base here for instinct. And let's go to Roy. He's jumping into the base for the flag. Elamite again right there sprung that because he killed Pistola, who was top mid. And we'll go back to Elamite. Sorry about that switch in genius. <laughs> Terrible call. Elamite up on the shockwave <laughs> once again. We're hitting the 15 minute regulation time period mark and it looks like we're going into overtime. Remember here, we in sudden death, it's all tied up. The next flag will win here in game number six of the championship match. Raleigh, our 50th event, 2v2 two two to two, instinct and final boss. Puck has been working hard today. You need some water. All right, we got a flag in the hands of Victor X right now, getting it all the way back to the man cannon. Stuck. He was stuffed by El My Warrior, will not be able to get it over, but Ogre 2 has a sniper rifle and so does Pistol. This could be bad oh. for instinct. This is dangerous right here. Said Captain Obvious. <laughs> Oh, nice shot by Ogre 2, taking down Roy. That is going to be two dead for instinct. Launchbox and El My Warrior, the only two players alive, and they're both on the flag side. This is not a good position to be in. On top of that, Victory X does have the rockets right here. Fresh four rockets. Yeah, it's not this looking, is looking good. good. We have Roy coming over the, the man cannon. Ball. He <laughs> is the only player in position to stop him. Nice no, job by El My, but it's enough, too though. late. The flag is put in, and final boss is going to take game six. We need to take a look at the stats here. Ogre 2 stepping up as a leader and dropping 32 kills, plus 4 with Pistola right behind him, also going positive. On the other side, El Might and Cloud also posting up positive numbers. But final boss was just too much for Instinct. They take game number 6. All right, guys, so there you see the series score. Final boss one game away from becoming our Raleigh champions. We'll be back with game number 7 in a quick minute.